Hello and welcome to today's episode of Focus Atlanta. I am your host, Keisha Lance Lynn. Thanks so much for tuning in with us this Sunday afternoon. In our first segment, we're going to talk a little bit about finances, but not just for you, even for the kids. I'm here with certified financial planner, Nicholas Yeoman. Hi, Nick. How are you? Hi, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Absolutely. Now, you know, this is a great time to start talking about our kids and teaching kids about money. Are there any tips that parents can use? Oh, my gosh. This is the best time of year to really educate and spend time with kids. You know, money is such an important resource that, you know, we use. And yet, uh, you know, so many times we overlook a great opportunity to educate our kids. And it's this holiday season. Now, I can't think of a better time, to your point, than the holiday season because there's gift giving and all of those things that are those, the, you know, good opportunities when you're shopping for friends, shopping for family members to kind of slide in those messages with the kids. Oh, yeah. And I, I know I'm going to say a word and everyone's going to cringe and it's going to be awful. You ready? Budget. Okay. <laughs> right. So, you know, this, this four letter word budget, oh, oh my gosh, it's so important to help our kids understand. And, you know, one of the most effective things I've really seen is, you know, parents sitting down and communicating with kids. Now you don't have to use the word budget. However, you know, uh, Dave Ramsey, he's got, uh, you know, he was a big promoter for a long time of using envelopes in Personally, I love the idea of using envelopes. So identifying who are the people we're buying gifts for and actually on the envelope, writing out the name, assigning a dollar amount. And I know in this you know, time since COVID, cash is not as uh, earnestly you know, uh, you know, used, uh, but cash is still really, really easy for kids, especially younger kids to understand. So putting a certain dollar amount in each one of those people's envelopes so that when they do go to the store and they take out the name Chris or they take out, you know, uh, Susie or whatever the name is, they know that's how much money they have to spend. And then if they spend more than that, it has to come from someone else's envelope. So really effective, neat tool, and it can get kids excited because it's something tangible in their hand. Now, me and my family, we personally are, uh, we love to be charitable. And it's, you know, this time of year is, you know, we have so many brothers and sisters in need in our community. And uh, one of the envelopes we, we love is to actually, instead of writing a name, writing actually charity or writing the name of an organization, a food pantry, or someone that you really care about. We love Must Ministries here in Cobb County. I mean, organizations that are really taking care of our neighbors in need. And the one rule that we have with that particular envelope is you can't borrow from that envelope, so. Oh my goodness, that that is a fantastic way to do it with kids. And as you're explaining it to me, in my head, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this is so much younger than what I had initially, you know, thought about. In my head, you were gonna talk to me about, you know, budgeting with teens, but you could do these things with your younger kids. Like, what age range would you start at? Oh, well, so I think kids can really start picking up on this. Six, seven, and eight years old are just prime, prime ages to start, you know, talking about this. Now, they still get super, super excited about all the toys, gadgets, gadgets, you know, you know, from, you know, air, AirPods to uh, video games, et cetera, PS5s, all the, all the stuff, right? Uh, so, you know, it is harder a little bit because there's so much excitement around the meme. However, when they actually get to participate tangibly, it becomes a different conversation for them. All of a sudden, they do start getting excited when it's tangible. And so I think that's the difference. Just talking about it doesn't mean as much as actually doing it. Oh my goodness, I, I love it. Okay, you have given parents a lot to think about and many ways to work this into their family during this special time. Please give your, give your website in case people have other questions and you know they can perhaps get other tips. Sure, sure. Uh, so our website is www.yourretirementcoach.com and uh, happy to serve and I love our community. Thanks so much for having me. 
Aw, thanks so much. I appreciate your time. It's these type of tips that make the holiday really special for the family. It was a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, Keisha, it was a pleasure. All right, guys, you can do this. I know, okay, for me at least, I was thinking, okay, we're talking about teens and preteens, but you could even go a little lower with these type of tips. Take the opportunity to learn a little bit more. If you have some questions, maybe go to the website and make this time of year a time of giving for you and the entire family through, you know, doing it the right way. Financially responsibly, doing it the right way. Stay tuned for more Focus Atlanta. We'll be right back. Thank you.